This is Michael Hill reporting for Superbike News TV here at Mazzano for the seventh round of the 2012 World Superbike Championship. I'm joined now just outside the Aprilia uh, racing garage by uh, Eugene Laverty. First of all, Eugene, uh, on behalf of Superbike News TV, uh, happy birthday. We were just talking off, uh, off camera. 21 again. Yeah, 21 again. Uh, I think this is, what, sixth or seventh time now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, 26 on Sunday, getting on a bit. But, uh, but obviously, uh, still as fit as a fiddle. And uh, if we take our attentions back uh, last week to, uh, to Miller, a very strong train from you. And uh, certainly on the TV cameras watching at home, you looked a little bit like the, the, old, the old Eugene Laverty that we're used to seeing. You had that fight back and you looked confident again. Well, during practice Saturday and Sunday, we made some really big steps. And honestly, after practice, my aim was for two podium results. And uh, come race day, typically we had some problems, uh, mainly in the braking area. So, uh, yeah, from how things were going in practice, I felt we could at least be second, third. And looking at the second race, we could have been there fighting with Marco and Johnny. But yet again, we had some problems and we could have done without. But we got to keep positive, keep working, because uh, I know this bike's capable. Now, we're here in Mazzano. It's the third time that we've been to Italy this year. You are obviously riding now for an Aprilia, which is an Italian machine. So, any extra pressure here at, uh, at Mazzano more than the other two races that we've had in, uh, in Italy this year? No, no more pressure. Uh, I guess the home, the team's home rounds. Uh, I did a double last year at Monza, so it'd be nice to do another double here and then uh, do Imola next year. But, uh, but really, there's no more pressure. Uh, not so much that it's here in Italy, but the fact that I'm falling behind in the championship fight and I really need to gain some points back. That's the, the pressure I'm putting on myself, so uh, I need two strong races on Sunday. Now, before we talk about the session that we had earlier on today, uh, the, the pre-event sort of... Uh, organized for for the riders and um, took you off and um, crossbowing and shooting arrows and things uh, you're pretty handy with that though by all accounts the uh, word on the great is you were pretty handy with a crossbow no not in the slightest uh, i didn't do it this year max went up to uh, san marino but i did it back in 2007 and uh, i almost killed someone so that wasn't very good <laughs> didn't bode well uh, i was trying to tell the guy that I was left-handed and he said sure no problem the uh, the aims didn't line up at all, and I shot way up and towards the crowd, so that, that could have been pretty nasty. But the organisers, just for the, the people watching, they, they do organise some quite interesting things for you guys to do. I remember in, in Portimao last year, some of the guys got took off uh, swimming with dolphins and things. That's a big part of the racing now, isn't it? The, the pre-event build-up for all the things that you guys get asked to do. It's always good fun. Uh, on the Thursday, uh, the last one I did was in Donington, along with Leon Haslam, Charles Davies and Sam Lowe's. And that was fun where we went white water rafting. It was uh, something I'd never done before. And just a great couple of hours fun and uh, some good guys to do it with as well, because, you know, we are all friends of British riders. Let's turn our attention back to Mizano then, the seventh round of the championship. So uh, come sort of 1.30 on Sunday, we will be halfway through the, the championship. We've talked a number of times this year about you know you not being exactly where you want to be. So I don't really want to dwell on that. I want to kind of look to the to the future. What is the plan for Eugene Laverty for these two races and for the rest of the season? Well, I need to be on the podium from here on in. Like I said in in Miller, we made a massive step during Sunday's qualifying, and uh, yeah, it was a massive step really for the Aprilia because Max even followed in the same direction, and we should have been there in the races. We weren't, but we'll take that step here and uh, keep moving forward. We're, uh, we're not standing still, we're trying to develop things because the other guys have made a bit of a step and I now know this bike fairly well because I've ridden it at almost 10 different tracks now so it's taken that to get to know the bike inside out and I think we're, we're at the point where I can give the information to, to drive the bike forward. And I guess my final question, it's something that we've never really talked about with you Eugene but you've made the transition obviously from Yamaha to Aprilia this year. Has that played a part in, in some of the adjustment of you learning to ride this bike at the different circuits? Is it quite an easy bike to ride? I know we've spoken to Chaz and he's kind of finding his feet, although, albeit coming from Supersport, but have you found that or is it just really just one of those racing things you sometimes have problems? We, we've had some problems. We tested in Portugal and I was fast there initially because this is a beautiful bike to ride at 80 to 85%, but you try to go another 10% and even towards 100 and it doesn't react. And, you know, I like to race the bike, I like to force it, and at the moment I uh, haven't been able to do that with this bike. So I want to, to take it from the, the touring bike that has been uh, developed into from the other riders into something I can really force and race. Perfect. Well, we'll let you go because I know you've got qualifying in about sort of 45 minutes to an hour's time. Good luck uh, in first qualifying and for the rest of the weekend, and hopefully we'll see you on the, the top step in Italy once again. I hope so. Thank you very much. Thanks, Eugene.